people of the world, I have returned and I'm sorry that this is a camera in hand type of vlog going on here but I'm just making this very quick because I kind of wanted to do a pre and post reaction for today after months and months and months of waiting it has finally arrived tonight will be the showing of Doctor Who special tonight will be the day of the doctor and I am so excited that I cannot contain my excitement and I'm sorry for shaking the camera. It has finally arrived and tonight a month of anticipation and not knowing what it's going to be about will be revealed. Um, and I'm excited guys. There has been a huge amount of people guessing about what is going to happen, what it's all going to be about, about who exactly John Hurt's character is going to be which is not really known at the minute well it is naturally it's going to be some form of doctor i think maybe one of the prominent rumors is that it is the older form of the eighth doctor so the time wars doctor um and there's been lots of other arguments some say that really he was a doctor in between the eighth and ninth doctor ninth doctor onwards does not recognize him as a doctor because obviously he did something evil that contributed to the time wars something like that also interesting was the fact that billy piper's character seems to be maybe possessed somehow kind of evil there's something with her eyes in the trailer and the way her voice was. Also, it's cool the fact is that we get number 10 back, Diva 10 is back, and I'm so happy and I cannot wait just for one more episode with 10 in it. I'm so hyper and excited, and this little demon is making noise, and we shall see what it's all about, and I'll be back afterwards. So, I just watched it, and I just, I can't, I do it. Yeah, this is going to be an in incoherent ball of mess because I just want to kind of like literally this is an exact moment post reaction video and it's literally just gone over and um, I just wanted to kind of get thoughts out there they're not going to be coherent I may come back I may not even post this but um, I may go back then tomorrow maybe rewatch it or something and kind of give a more coherent opinion about stuff that I noticed but the biggest thing that kind of has been taking from it um, at the minute is that the original plot that there could only be 12 generations has been blown out of the water because that scene in the moment where all the doctors are coming for Gallifrey and and there says 12 and then oh wait there's 13 which means on a technicality basis Peter Capaldi is going to technically be the 13th Doctor. Um, he is not the 12th re regeneration, he is actually the 13th. That means um, John Hurt was actually a the real 9th Doctor, so he was a Doctor that was in between 8 and 9, but other Doctors refused to recognise him because of what happened during the Time War. Ah, that is so, like, that's such... An important thing. Also, um, another thing I want to say is I was completely wrong about Billy Piper. I was kind of disappointed. I'm not gonna lie about Billy Piper's contribution into this because I would have liked her to have came back. Well, no, it was good. It was good the way they did it. I, I'm glad that she was back in general, but I kind of wish she had came back as a companion. But um, she came back as the interface of the moment. It was good to have her back, but I just I kind of wanted her in ten interaction, so that was kind of disappointing. And then the point of why Elizabeth hated him, because he never went back. The funniest moment had to be that after all the years of waiting on the sonic screwdriver to be able to work on a door, Clara just opens the door is like, hi guys, what are you doing waiting here? The door's open. Like, so ironic. And also, the biggest thing is that Gallifrey technically is not destroyed he didn't actually destroy Gallifrey he just has no memory of the fact that he actually saved Gallifrey he didn't destroy it and that hit over the years of himself is that is where it generated from not from the fact that he destroyed Gallifrey I was getting worried because when I thought they were going to save Gallifrey I thought well this is going to change everything because all the history that then follows that is going to be altered but then they did it in a way where it wasn't because they're have always been frozen he just doesn't remember it and that that was clever clever oh, that moment when 10 went back into the TARDIS um at the very end and he said I don't want to go that just him the that that being the last thing that he said again that killed me I was I was gonna cry I was like no not no 
out those words. And then I'm so good cool bringing back Tom Baker as the creator. Like how cool is that? And the glimpse for like a minuscule second of Peter Capaldi's eyes. Ah. And at the end with all the 12 doctors together. Ah. The way the three of them interacted as well was brilliant. Ah, there's so much to talk about and I just had, ah. I, I just, I don't even think I can talk anymore. I just, I'm drained now. Just, I feel so emotional too. This is literally just the immediate reaction. I'm probably gonna have to record again tomorrow, but I just wanted to make something that was immediate. So, after my last video, I said I was going to make a more coherent video on my opinion. That kind of didn't happen. It's now a week later, and a tiny bit, but I still have stuff to discuss, so let's get on with it. On reflection, I think it has left us with more questions a bit than it did leave us with answers, so we'll get discussing about that a bit later on. But um, one of the things I do want to say is technically we're going to have to rethink about the numbering of our doctors now, because there was already kind of controversy over the fact that when Ten had the regeneration but regenerated back into himself, was that 10.5? That's going to be different because technically Peter Cabaldi is going to be the 13th because I mean John Hurt was technically the ninth doctor so that means every doctor after that is going to go up a number. What do we call Peter Cabaldi? Is he 12? Is he 13? Mm. Also is the fact that it can be argued is Clara the most important companion? She is the impossible girl. She is the girl that was born to see of the doctor. She is the girl that has met every incarnation that has ever been of the Doctor. And now, is she also the girl that stopped the Doctor from destroying Gallifrey? Okay, there was the aid of Interface Rose in the background kind of providing the know-how. But it can be argued, was she the moral conscience in the background that was going to stop Eleven? from allowing him to destroy Gallifrey. So is she the most important companion? Who knows? Also it was argued that the Doctor's age is now known and I read an article somewhere and basically it worked out that he was a thousand two hundred and odds. That's a big question mark because are we really ever going to know the Doctor's age? It is always argued, is the Doctor always lying about his age? And I just think it's going to be one of those things we're not going to know. And we also still don't know the Doctor's name. And that's something I seriously don't ever know if we are going to know because how could it be Doctor Who if we know his name? The show is called Doctor Who. So at least until the very end, the very, very, very end, I don't think we're ever going to know the Doctor's name. Also, what was very interesting was the fact in the teaser for the Christmas special, the silence is going to fall. Again? Hasn't the silence already fallen? Hmm. We're going to have to wait to see at Christmas what that is all going to be about because I don't know. Naturally, it's only the obvious way to go. After I recorded my post reaction video, I went to Tumblr and actually there was quite a lot of controversy going on there. Firstly, that there was no Ten and Rose interaction, which I completely agree with. I was annoyed that there was no Ten and Rose interaction when they were mere inches from each other. It was so frustrating. People were also annoyed that Ten didn't get a lot of um, screen time and he didn't have many lines and I do kind of agree with that. Like I said before, Ten is my favourite doctor so it is kind of annoying when your favourite doctor's right there and it's just like it's, it's not all about him and it's frustrating but had to let others have their say too. A little bit more screen time, a few more lines, I probably would have been happier but I can get over that. And there is also some people that think that Ten Sacrifice in the episode The End of Time has now been rendered meaningless, pointless even. There is also people that were annoyed that um, Ten's last words in this episode was I don't want to go as like in his very last episode. I don't know if I agree with those two opinions because Ten going back into his timeline does not have a re any recollection that he was not the cause of Gallifrey's destruction. So to him it made sense. 
And also, I, I, I was still hurt and still sad that his words were, I don't want to go in this episode as well. It was kind of nice that both his exes were with the same line, but people are entitled to their opinion and I'm not going to take that away from them. Also, somebody else that wasn't happy um, was Colin Baker, who as reported as saying he was angry and disappointed that he didn't get asked to come back for the 50th anniversary special and that he even felt like a second-class citizen. That may have something to do with the fact that Tom Baker got asked and appeared in the episode. But in saying that, I think the episode did really well at representing each of the Doctors throughout the generations. Everybody got a clip and everybody got a part and I thought it was done well. I really did. There is many things to look forward to. There's the Christmas special. There's Peter Capaldi as the next Doctor. Be it 12 or 13. I'm confused now. Though it will be sad to say goodbye to Matt Smith. Um, and we had a good run with him despite the fact that he may not be my favourite Doctor. But we have to give love to every Doctor, don't we? One thing is for sure is that Doctor Who just it can't be the same because the Doctor now knows that Gallifrey is still out for. He didn't destroy Gallifrey and I think definitely a central theme is going to be he is going to search for Gallifrey now. We will just have to see if this does actually happen and hopefully it will because I think it'll be really interesting. So we'll have all that to look forward to. So that is it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the day of the doctor. If you did like this video please give it a big thumbs up and make sure to leave down in the comments all your opinions and let's have a wee discussion conversation down there about what you thought of the day of the doctor. And also links to my other social medias will be down there if you feel like following me on a different platform. And until the next video, bye guys!